Chapter 19 I'm on Dan's swivelly chair watching Stranger Things. The next afternoon when Dan comes back and hands me a huge bowl of chips, Chad and his parents just got here. Word? We didn't plan for Chad to come chill, but I guess that's what's going to keep happening if your cousin moves nearby. My mind rewinds to what Wes said about Chad's parents. I haven't met them yet, and my belly sort of flips from nervousness. I don't even want to deal with Chad. Now, there are two super-sized Chads here? I'm curious how they look. Hold up, Dan. Pause it. I get up and peek through Dan's door into the living room. Wes described Chad's parents as racist, and that made me imagine them as Draco Malfoy's parents in the Harry Potter movies. I pictured them pale, pale white, with bleached hair, vampire-looking, but they're just normal. I'm shocked they look so regular. I watch Chad and his family, Chad saying something but his mom swiping on her cell and doesn't even lift her eyes to him. Chad's dad looks bored and doesn't connect with him either. It's like Chad doesn't exist to them. For a minute, I feel bad for Chad. How messed up is his family? Ignoring him. On top of his parents maybe being racist, they're icy. I want to ask Dan about them, but I can't. Because all of a sudden, Chad turns to walk to Dan's room. Oh, dang! I jet to the bed. Press play! Press play! What? Dan's confused. Press play! Chad's coming! Look at you, eavesdropping, and now you don't want to get caught. Dan laughs as he presses play. It's 30 minutes later, Chad's parents are gone, and me and Dan are into, into Stranger Things on the screen. Chad isn't. I glance at Chad, and he's not even watching the show. I want to be nice, since I feel bad his parents were so cold, and I wouldn't want to sit through a show I'm not feeling. I decide to speak up. Dan, pauses. He does. I keep on. Chad, you're not into this show? He looks at me, confused. What? This is me and Dan's show, but we could watch something else if you want, something we all like. Usually, when someone's friendly to you, you react friendly. But Chad stares at me, stone cold. There's straight saltiness in his voice. Why are you all in my face? Just watch your show. Dan gets motionless quiet and slits his eyes at Chad. His stare says, Chad, I don't get you. Nasty now for what? Chad points at me, then at the screen and throws me more shade. What are you, scared? This scene too scary? And you're using me as an excuse to pause it? Really? After I'm nice to him? He's grimy? I'm glad Dan sees how nasty, for no reason, Chad is to me. I feel my neck get hotter. I remember my dad's advice. Fires don't put out fires. Be chill to cool things off. I stand. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Dan talks to his cousin. Chad, maybe you should go too. Home, you're killing our vibe. I smile. That's what I want. If Chad hasn't bounced by the time I'm back, I will. Chapter 20 